Hey everyone, it's Dina. So I wanted to do a quick video to show how I'm building the bridges in my stencils and to encourage you not to be afraid to make those slices bigger than what you think they, that you might need. So um, let's get started. On the left side of the screen, and I'm using version 4 of the software and the business edition, so if it looks a little bit different than yours, then that's why. Um, we're going to use the knife tool. So what you want to make sure first is that your image is a compound path. And when you choose the knife tool, make sure at the top you have solid selected. Otherwise, um, it's not going to close off those cuts like you see on my screen here. And the other thing I've done is I've zoomed in really close to the image so that I can see where I'm making those slices easier and so it's a little bit easier for you to see what's going on as well. And what you're going to do is find a junction or a point in your image where you want to make that cut. And just slice. Okay? And don't be afraid to completely slice away parts of those corners. Those are the pieces that are going to give you fits or troubles when you're trying to airbrush, they're going to flip up, or you're going to get some underspray. Your icing might get caught under it. So as you can see, I'm just cutting away, and I'm not too worried about any jagged edges or anything at this point. I'm worried about just simply placing my bridges in there and making sure that I'm kind of getting all of those areas, like I said, that could potentially give me some problems. And then I'll show you how I go in and clean this up. So slice, slice, slice. We'll make one more little cut here. And then I'll show you how to clean it up. Okay. So at this point, if I'm ready to move on to a different section, I'm just going to go ahead and clean this up first. And you can do this a couple of ways. You can use the escape key on your keyboard to just take it back to the straight selection or the arrow or click on the arrow or the select tool and then that just brings back your regular pointer and then you're going to go in and select it by clicking on it and then pressing your delete button on your keyboard simple as that so we clean it up we get all those little pieces removed because we definitely don't want that in our cut and if you notice a line that's a little jagged or an area where you want to kind of clean up or round off that corner, you can either slice it with the knife tool again or double click on it and delete that point. Okay? And same thing for this one. There's a lot of points in here that are making it a wavy, wavier line than I, than I would prefer. So we're just going to delete, kind of clean this up just a little bit. And then you can use your mouse um, and your control button or command on the Mac to move over to the left or right, just depending on how you scroll up or down and then release the key obviously on your keyboard the control key to move up or down on your image and that's pretty much it I hope this was helpful for you guys if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment if you like the video give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed yet feel free to do so I add these little videos from time to time little tips and tricks along the way and like I said hope you enjoy it thanks for watching everyone